Hello, welcome. It's good content time, baby. Hey, what's up? Dan Thanks. looks different. Yeah, he's sick. He's got the flu. He's got the flu. <laughs> this is Ross O'Donovan. Hello, how's it going, guys? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Rubber Ninja. Yeah, what's up, guys? Um, and uh, he's uh, going to help me out today because we're going to look at uh, New Year's resolutions from the 1920s. The wrong 1920s. And before we get into it, uh, right now is a sale at the Game Grumps store, GameGrumps.com slash Merch. 30% off. It's our year-end sale. So go check that out, and then starbomb.com slash merch is a 50% off sale, because we're trying to get we're trying to get that out of here, baby. We're trying to get those beautiful pieces of merch into beautiful people's hands so that everyone can enjoy the glory of Starbomb. All right, let's do this. These are so these are these are choice articles All right. from the Los Angeles Herald. Howdy 1920, adios 1999. <laughs> Good to know they were using that Spanish slang and and very uh, progressive in the twenties. I love this picture too because it's a child. He's probably dead, by the way. Yeah, or, or in an old folks home. Wait, what, how old would you be if you were alive in nineteen twenty and you were a child? Well, it's a hundred years ago. Oh, so they're dead. Yeah, yeah, they're dead. They're dead. I mean, it's just a, it's a it's a fun child in a sailor outfit. Clearly, he was not. Uh, drafted. I like this little tagline at the bottom. Oh no. The time is never lost that is devoted to work. That's very 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh it's like dystopian almost. Yeah. Like, whoa, this is what is the future gonna you be? You will do your job and you'll enjoy it. Yeah. He was very optimistic for the next year. Yeah. Like yeah, he's not gonna die of tuberculosis. <laughs> Take day off today and start New Year's right is advice. How how is that a <laughs> how is that opener? Thousands of Los Angeles people took a month off today just to get the new year started. What? A month? How do you take a month off for a day? Oh, no, I think they oh, made... Oh, like, like off like, their like, calendar. Like, like they peeled the month oh, off. Oh, I thought they got it. Like, yeah, that makes sense. They didn't take the month off. They ripped it off their calendar. <laughs> wow. Because oh, who would take a month off when time wasted is not wasted if it's devoted to work? <laughs> Young 1920 starts out as chipper as any of its predecessors, but he will be put over the hur Oh, they're personifying oh. 1920. But he will be put over the hurdles just like the others. And when this his race ends 20, 12 months hence, he will have the same appearance of having been roughhoused that marks those that have gone before as they reach their finish. I feel like this paragraph is the 1920s version of the meme of yeah. like like 1919 and it's like some yeah. excited guy like end of 1919 and he's like got coffee and stuff yeah. like that. I think that's their political cartoon back then. <laughs> the slogan of the years so far as the people of the earth are concerned appears to be treat them rough. Okay. What? It is merely a spirit of retaliation. Therefore, that leads humanity to compound for each 12 months a mixture of excitement, trouble, and whatnot that makes the average year feel ashamed of itself as it gives a retrospective glance before taking a flying leap into the discard. What? How did... People didn't talk like this back then, Wait, did they? No, they, 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 they talk like, like this. this. They gotta be like, trade them rough! It is merely a spirit of retaliation. Therefore, that leads humanity to compound for each 12 months a mixture of excitement, trouble, and not what um, and whatnot. See, you gotta talk like that. Oh, okay. That's because if you if you're just reading it in a in a in a in a 2019 man voice, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, this is on the side, however. See? Change your calendar and let it go at that. On the making of resolutions and the taking of inventories. Start the new year happily with a smile. Ooh. Don't start it cynically or pessimistically or with a chip on your shoulder, you fool. And as for making resolutions, it is better to make them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even if they break, okay. then not to make them at all. The first of the year summons all of us to take an inventory of what we have and what we haven't. And we shall surely find, if we tabulate accurately, that we have a lot of things we needn't have, while there are other things which we need and should proceed to acquire. So... Throw out your junk, yeah, buy new, new stuff. Buy new stuff, commercial capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> the Evening Herald wishes all of its daily readers a happy new year, and for its own part will say that its main resolution is to try to, to make, make its, its readers, readers happy. happy. So that I they- was capitalized, I figured I should join <laughs> yeah. in. So that they in turn may pass on the spirit of mutual helpfulness. This big world would be quite a desirable place to live in if the quarreling would stop. Whoa, getting a little wow. passive aggressive. Los 1920 Angeles wasn't that different to 19. Wait, what year is this? 
2019. <laughs> if, still in the 1900s. <laughs> what is this, 1988, 1999? If people would try to be lovable rather than hateful to each other, this would be such a kindly old world that we would want to live in here forever. Translation, good vibes only. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So let's wish each other a happy new year, and if we sincerely wish it, it will help to make 1920 happier than 1919. Wow. Wow. Ooh, from the Vancouver Daily World, okay. Canada, 1921. I hereby resolve to abstain from swearing, except on due provocation. So, um, don't at me. <laughs> <laughs> don't at me, bro. <laughs> to give up smoking cigars, by proxy. Don't vape. To respect traffic cops while within their reach. <laughs> frick the police. <laughs> frick the police. That's frick the police. Frick the police. To, to abstain from intoxicating liquors, unless tempted in all caps. Get lit. To love my neighbor as myself when her husband is away. <laughs> 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 Damn. Oh no. Oh no. 1920s <laughs> Canada. Keep your hands to yourself, dude. Jesus. To read uplifting literature when out of interesting material. <laughs> he's, talking about, he's talking about those nudie mags. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to do unto others as they would do unto me, but to do it first. Let's shoot first, ask questions later. <laughs> to strike no man in anger, except he be a small man. Do it with the accent? To strike no man in anger, except he be a small man. Still makes no sense. But it would be it would be Canadian, so he'd be like, oh, to strike a no oh, wait, man oh, in wait. anger. Oh, so it'd be like, to strike a man in, in anger, uh, ex <laughs> <laughs> except he be a small man, Naboot. <laughs> to practice what I preach always. When, when so it, it seemeth wise. wise. So those are the resolutions of the Wow, times. dude, they're not so different to today. Yeah, it's, you know? I mean, it's, you know, we've, We've upheld the 100 year tradition of making resolutions and immediately breaking them. Yeah. I'm gonna get fit this year. This is something Ali was very excited about. Okay. It's called The Swine World. So apparently in 1919, the farmers and readers of The Swine World were a little disappointed in the direction and quality that pig breeding had gone. Oh, tell me about it, dude. So uh, in this January 5th, uh, 1920 article, it begins spicily. There has never been a time in my observation when the American people have expressed their views in so many ways about what they are intending to do for 1920. So it goes on to say that the swine men, especially the Poland China breeders, Poland China being the oldest breed of American uh, pig. Oh, I didn't know that. Of the Northwest have made several resolutions for the following year, but it seems to me there is not much use of them making the 1920 resolutions unless they intend to keep them. Oof. That's a big oof. The writer Dudley Damp goes on to elaborate on the Great Hog Discourse of oh, 1919. No, not again. I think most of you have come to the conclusion that there were too many common boars sold in the public sales and privately for the good of the swine industry, especially breeders whom we would expect to sell better ones. What's the point of bringing home the bacon if it's just regular bacon, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get that Poland-China yeah. swine. I have been thinking the matter over, so I have made a New Year's resolution myself, and it is this. Any breeder of Poland Chinas in my territory who is an advertiser of the swine world who will write me at this office and tell me he is sincere in his 1920 New Year's resolution, I will send him postpaid, free of charge, a castrating knife, and if he doesn't use it, he and I will have some trouble. Is that a threat? That is a threat. With a knife threat? Like any internet commentator, or in this case, 1920s magazine writer, Dudley goes on to list his qualifications to defend himself from the haters. Oh, wow. Any man who seeks to promote anything must know something about that industry himself if he seeks to interest others. I am a regular student of hogology myself. Oh, wow. And I know how to handle hogs and how to secure results. I have a bunch of purebreds, which I give some personal attention, and the boys are inclined to look upon me as an authority. And I try never to disappoint them when they come to me for information. Now, I am not naturally in love with hogs. What? He just had to make that clear. So don't at me about that. I'm not naturally in love with hogs. Why would I know so much about hogs? Because mm. I, I just like hogs. I get it. Well, it's like when somebody goes yeah, no. It's like when somebody posts yeah. and they're like, I don't know, defending like furry stuff. And they're like, I'm not a furry, but. Yeah, like. I'm like I can a, understand. Like. I, but I'm, I'm not a furry. I have like an OC as a werewolf, but I'm not a furry. Yeah, like I'm not. Because like werewolves can also be like people. I just see where they're coming from. Yeah. Like I'm trying to put myself in their shoes. Not that yeah. I've ever done that. It's called empathy, bro. You should yeah. try it. Deal with it. 
Wait, Shut this is up. this is you all of the swine world. This yeah, is like the entire Look, we had Twitter and we could just write like one quick thing. They've got nothing, so they got to write like yeah, they got to get all of it get out. Get all of it out at once. They can't do it over a, like one whole year. They have to be like start every year, boom, here's my tweet. It's a dissertation. Look, there's an entire page that talks about the stats of how many cattle and hogs had tuberculosis from 1917 to 1919. What a hell world. So they open up the magazine like, ah, what are the tuberculosis charts? I gotta catch up on those. Oh, I'm behind two years. Wish I had this when I was playing Stardew Valley, my God. I've been killing it. All you gotta do is like walk up to your pigs and hit A. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, that's what you think. I mean, clearly there's a meta to the game. Stardew's walking on the shoulder of giants. Yeah, like. it, is. it is. Also, the pig, you don't get bacon from the pigs, you get truffle. Because yeah. you didn't want to have it, so you killed the animals. So these, for some reason, they make truffle. These people walked so Stardew could run. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, look at all these famous... Oh, these gentlemen. readers. You got Chas A. Marker, J.O. Bridges. Which one's... <laughs> Wow, really on the shoulder hey, of there's giants. Hey, du there's Dudley Dam. That's the guy who wrote it? There's a photo of Dudley Dam. Enhance. Holy crap. I want a name like J.O. Bridges. <laughs> like who, oh man. I think we gotta like follow up on this in another episode because this is insane. We, like really dig deep into this. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Ross. Yeah, thanks for having me. For for joining us on this episode. You can, you can, uh, gamegrumps.com slash merch is 30% off. It was a big sale. And starbomb.com slash merch 50% off big sale. Wear clothes, don't be naked. For the Wear clothes. clothes, don't be naked. 30% <laughs> or 50% off. The cheapest clothes you can buy for all the things that you need to cover your bodies with. To make a, get, get clothes on to get in the roaring 20s. You don't want to be like Big Long Bone, do you? <laughs> Walking around naked in that sow pen? Forget it. You want to be more like J.O. Bridges. 